Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle. For those of you who do not know me, hi, welcome. I'm so glad you stopped by today. Today I'm going to be talking about the items I have recently picked up and added to my collection, as well as kind of talking about the fact that I'm going to go on a no-buy. Now there are two items that are not here in my collection currently, and that is the what is it, the Violet Ink Palette and the um, Whale Song Palette from Menagerie Cosmetics because I did order both of those. If you guys remember, I did say that if that one came out, I was going to be ordering it. Also, sorry if my voice sounds a little bit funny. I have been getting over an illness for the last week and a half and it's still kind of here. I feel a lot better though. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get right into this. And so the first items I want to go ahead and talk about are some eyeshadow palettes that I picked up from Blush Tribe. Uh, I went kind of crazy when, you know, I was able to go through and purchase some makeup and I picked up three different palettes from Blush Tribe. They were kind enough to send me this brush set because the palettes were late to arriving and I've been using these brushes and I do like them. I think this is one of my favorite brushes for eyebrows that I've ever had, this angled brush. I just like how small it is and how easy it is to get in there with it. Um, <laughs> it is dirty because I did use it on my brows today, but I did want to mention that. I also have one of their like, is it diamond dust? It's not diamond dust, but one of their like loose multi-chromes. It's a multi-chrome, that's what it is. I just don't know where I put it. <laughs> I can't find it in my collection. It'll probably show up later on. Uh, but it is a uh, gold multi-chrome. So the first palette I picked up is the Layla palette. And this one is just a matte rainbow palette. If you guys have been with me for a while, you know I am a sucker for rainbow palettes. Yeah, I'm a sucker for rainbow palettes. I absolutely love that these are all mattes, but I also like the colors that are in here because it's not like a typical rainbow palette. I mean, this teal, is beautiful and I absolutely do like it. I've played with this palette, I've swatched it, I've put some of the shades on my eyes, um, but there will be looks and stuff coming with this palette, I'm just not sure when. Then, this one I'm super excited about. It's the Layla 2. It's an all green palette, you guys look at that. It's so pretty and I'm super excited to have this in my collection and I kinda wanna compare it to the Makeup Revolution Avocado Palette. So that might be coming because some of these shades are very reminiscent of what's in that palette. I also want to compare some of these greens to some of the other green shades that I have from Blush Tribe. But this one I am super excited and I can't wait to play with it. I've only swatched it. I haven't even put it on my eyes yet. So that will be coming soon. Then I picked up this. This is the Pastel Tribe Limited Edition Palette. It does have a mirror. It's one of the only palettes that I have from Blush Tribe that has a mirror, but that is what this looks like. It's pastel-y. I wouldn't say every single shade in here is pastel, but I do kind of like the vibe here. It's more of like a rainbowy pastel, and I love this row right here. So yeah, I have played with this. I've used it on my eyes a few times. I actually like using this one with the Layla palette, so you guys will be seeing that all as well. I might, if you guys are interested, do kind of like a multi-palette bingo thing where I use all of my Blush Tribe palettes and try and get a shade from each of them to put on my eyes. I believe I have seven or eight palettes from Blush Tribe. I have quite a few from Blush Tribe, so if you guys would like to see that, let me know in the comment section down below because I would love to do that. <laughs> so I went, I went a little crazy at Sephora and I picked up a palette that I was not planning on purchasing. I was not planning on purchasing any other palettes other than the Whale Song palette that came out from Menagerie, which I've already done, but I picked up another one. Yeah. I picked up the Jackie Ina and Anastasia Beverly Hills. Like, look at the packaging. I like the packaging. It makes me happy. Um, that is what it looks like if you guys have not seen it. I have used this on my eyes and I got a very, very beautiful look out of it. I am quite pleased with it. <laughs> Do I think I really needed this? No, it was a moment of weakness and I was, yeah, I was online and I was like, ooh, I should get it and I got it. <laughs> but I am, I, I am glad I have it. It's fun to have, I like the packaging, I like the shades, I like how well it kind of works with some of the other palettes that I have in my collection. 
Now let's talk about other things that I picked up that I did not need. I picked up more lipstick. <laughs> this is why I should not go shopping when I'm feeling emotional. So I picked up the other set of the mini Pat McGrath lipsticks. Um, these are shades I don't have. I'll kind of show them to you quickly. I'm not gonna swatch anything. This one like melted because I live in Arizona and didn't get my package quick enough. My fault, but oh, this one right here is gonna be a favorite of mine because it's that orangey red and I'm super excited about that. Right now I'm wearing the more blue toned red that was in here, but that orangey red, oh. Did I need another one? No, 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 no. I also picked up two lip stories. I love this one. I've already used it quite a bit. These are their matte ones. And then I am a sucker for a brown lipstick. I can't wait until it's fall because I will wear that a lot more then. I wear it a little bit now, but not, not to the extent I'll wear it in the fall. Then I picked up the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I have been using this in conjunction with the Fenty um, Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. I love these together. I'm super happy to have this foundation. I think it works beautifully on my skin and I've worn it three times since purchasing it and I haven't been wearing foundation, but I was like, you know what? We're gonna try this. I'm also getting ready to declutter some of my foundations because I think I'm sticking with more of like the Fenty ones, but these were a purchase well well worth it like after i'm done with this i'll probably buy the full size of this primer because i love it and i also picked up this natasha diamond and glow and that is what this looks like i'm so concerned that this one's gonna fall out one day just because it's almost done that but that's what that looks like and i'm actually wearing it on my face today now i'm gonna get into some of the things i use my points if you guys i don't think i've mentioned this on here but i did hit vib with sephora which i have never done uh, it wasn't something I was planning to do, but I have spent quite a bit of money this year at Sephora. Uh, makeup shopping has kind of helped me get through some things in my life and well, we're going to slow that down here in a little bit because holy cow do I have a lot of makeup that I haven't even shown on camera. So I went ahead and used my points to pick up this Living Proof Instant Defrizzer like set. I haven't used the shampoo but I absolutely love this spray so far. Uh, I've used it a couple of times on my hair and it works really well, but I haven't used the shampoo and conditioner. I haven't used the styling cream, so those will be things that I will let you guys know how they are in like an empties video. Then I also got a sample of the Lancome, what is this? Uh, it's basically a mascara base a booster. Uh, so I haven't used that yet, but I'll be using it shortly, hopefully. Then I picked up the Naturally Serious Natural Peptide Sleeping Cream sample, because that looked nice to try out. And then these are just a couple of samples. I have actually used this mask a couple of times. That's why it's not in its original kind of place. And I want to pick up the full size of this because I do think this is something that I can definitely use, um, if not every night, every other night to help with like hydrating my lips and things and like it works really well and I really do like it. And then this is from Bosha, it's a cactus water moisturizer and I haven't tried this yet but I've heard some good things about it and I do want to try it more. Then the final thing is actually something that Annette from Annette Makeup Corner uh, made me want to per. She made me want to purchase this. It is the Paint Pot in Soft Ochre, and I've used it a few times. I still can't quite tell if I like it or if I don't like it. I have it on as my base now, um, but I will be definitely using this in some videos and things, and I purchased it, I'm using it, I'm still trying to gather my thoughts on it. I have moments where I think it's too yellow. I don't know that I really like it with colorful shadows, but I do feel I need to play with it more and give it a chance instead of just being like, well, no, nope, that's not working. Uh, so yeah. <clears throat> well, and to kind of end this video, I just wanted to say I am going to be going on a no buy. With my no buy, I'm still gonna get my boxy charm. So it's not like I'm not gonna have any makeup coming into my life. I'm still gonna get my boxy charm um, and things because I just don't feel like canceling it yet. I don't have that need to cancel my boxy charm. So I'm going to continue to get that, but I'm not going to add anything else in my collection uh, for a while. I'm trying to at least go a month or over a month 
Um, I'm going to wait until October 8th, which is my birthday, before I do purchase any more makeup because I just kind of want to slow down, use what I have in my collection, show you guys what's new, uh, possibly declutter some things, and just kind of find those things that I really enjoy in my collection instead of continuously purchasing makeup, even though I could do that in a heartbeat and that wouldn't bug me at all. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. Please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. It does mean the world to me and I do hope that you get, again enjoyed this video. Let me know what you would like to see me use in future videos in the comment section down below. I do enjoy chatting with you guys and hearing your thoughts on what I've picked up. Well, thank you guys so much. I hope you have a wonderful day, night, wherever you are, and bye!